Hello folks, Jed here and welcome back to the 15 frames per second simulator and today we will be taking a look at some civics. Now previously we had a few versions of the civic already in the game, we had the normal type art from the early 2000s and we also had the SI, but uh, you know with the Honda update there was uh, some new you know civics added. So today we will be taking a look at uh, two of them. So here is uh, obviously the most expensive one and obviously one of the newest more expensive cards in the game. Uh, this of course is being uh, top 100 Civic SI uh, in uh, matte purple. It actually kind of looks matte now, it doesn't exactly look glossy, kind of like that. And also we have the Grand Tutor, which, uh, okay, it's, it's the Race Tutor, not the Grand Tutor. I'm just probably gonna uh, make this mistake a few times, but I think it also looks uh, quite awesome. This one is not a tough card like the SI uh, RE. This is in fact a great card and today we'll be comparing the two and see, um, you know, how they perform in lobbies and all that. I obviously went ahead and maxed both of them out. I do not exactly uh, like to review stock cards, even though I did that with the Civic SI because uh, hooray, all hype and all that stuff, whatever. So pretty much uh, we're gonna start with the Civic RE because it's uh, without a doubt the more desirable of the two. Um, now the top 100 prices, bone stock ones, start at around 30 bucks. I don't think I saw a person sell uh, you know, this card below that, so keep that in mind. Obviously the prices in mills will be higher, but uh, whatever. Anyways, this is the fastest of the two, uh, with it being R2 class, while the uh, Race Tutor is uh, 1681 max, and it's also R class. So there you go. Anyways, uh, we're gonna take uh, a look at the max setup now. So <clears throat> the again, stress price is here, 80.9, which is uh, quite to uh, tolerable, I guess, and uh, let's go to the setup here, I did max it out, I'm not sure how you guys will exactly be able to follow on the a really low amount of FPS I'm playing on, uh, so I'll just, you know, go slowly, but anyways, this card does, in fact, oddly enough, um, you know, upgrade in the exact same, uh, same way as uh, the D-Class SI, so that's kind of hilarious, um, if, you know, it makes you laugh, which, it, it, it's like, kind of uh, a homage, I guess, I mean, I don't think that they would do this intentionally, but it pretty much upgrades like a normal, uh, you know, D-Class car, which is quite nice, also, I'm losing my voice here, I think I'm sick a bit, so just excuse that, I'll still try and provide, you know, some, uh, quality content here. So this card, 1682, I did have a few uh, free runs and uh, I would say that this is uh, the one which is a, a bit high, uh, harder to actually raise, but we'll get to that. I'll uh, take a look at the race tutor before we do that. But there you go, this card uh, comes with no aspirations as uh, stock. So that's why it took me, uh, you know, even more time to max this out. Obviously I did put NOS on it just because I want to see how fast this card can actually perform. And uh, when you upgrade suspension, it actually does take time, so just keep that in mind. It doesn't actually lower the car by that much. So uh, I do have the stock rims on this car, 15-inch uh, only to go. You know, you cannot actually, uh, oh my god, that's, that's a terrible choice of wheels. But there you go, if you just put these on, obviously, it will not go higher than 15-inch, uh, which is understandable because this is obviously a drag version of the SI. And uh, I'm not sure if it's front wheel drive or whatever, but uh, you can get traction loss with that, so that's a thing to keep in mind. Anyways, uh, now we have the Grand Tourer, which uh, oddly enough might be my favorite of the two, just because I drove it, and well, we'll get to that later, but uh, as of right now, this is slower, this is cheaper, and uh, I mean, this is actually, um, you know, as cheap as it is, uh, because ap apparently it's easier to get than the NSX GT3 from the Honda crates, which are uh, currently still in the game. I believe they will, uh, you know, refresh those in like two weeks, but for now we are stuck with this, and it's not a bad car at all, um, you know, quite a pleasant surprise. And it is uh, the BTCC Civic, pretty much, uh, not sure what that abbreviation stands for, but, uh, you know, it's, uh, it's quite cool, so there is that. Anyways, uh, we're gonna go ahead, hop into a lobby with the SI RE first and see how they perform. Let's go. So here we are on my amazing Nexus 6P and uh, it runs like shit, it still does. The optimization apparently will be better in a few days. There you go, uh, whatever. So I'll uh, try to, uh, you know, 
make uh, this rank count because I'm not sure if I'll be able to repeat it. But as you guys can see, the car can do 6.8s. And uh, it's the uh, it's not too bad to launch at all. The release is kind of similar to the normal Civic, believe it or not, as well. So it does have that you know vague uh, representation of you know uh, in terms of upgrading and also uh, you know uh, launching. But the shifting, I believe, is at 7200. There you go. Let's take a look at the time. Yeah, 6.9. So I would barely get uh, a 6.8 if uh, you know. I got a perfect reaction time, even more of a perfect reaction time. So the car is maxed at 681, and uh, it's not my favorite of the two to drive anyway. Uh, I will not add you, dude. I'm, I'm sorry. Um, so pretty much uh, the, these people are figuring out I'm recording, but like, let me get uh, this straight for like the 15,000th time. Um, I will not add you because I need space for the people I deal with and I only deal via my Facebook page. So if you guys wanna buy something for PayPal, you can go there. I actually lowered at a shitload of prices in um, the past few weeks, but I will not be adding you just uh, on game, sorry. But um, there are so many of you guys that I simply cannot do that. Let's see if we can get another perfect launch. Okay, so we have a light lagger M3 on a free run. Cool, whatever. Uh, it's not like, you know, uh, I wasn't shit enough with this car already. I actually got a person uh, saying that I shouldn't pink slip cards, which I'm not good with, and I kind of uh, kind of agree with, uh, with that. But uh, you know, I'll, I might reply to that video. You guys might have seen it. It has like 20 views in uh, 10 hours. It's amazing. So I don't think this guy's gonna go across. Uh, or, you know, it's gonna go through. So uh, yeah, fight li uh, fuck light laggers. That's. Uh, that's a thing which uh, we can be pretty objective on, uh, you know, except if you are a light lagger, in which case, fuck you. So, the race was a tie. It's not my shitty internet. My internet is pretty shitty. Um, uh, this guy asking me if I'm recording. I, I guess you'll see that uh, eventually. <sighs> Who could we potentially race here? Damn, dude. I mean, they said that they were going to implement the test track feature, but uh, it's not here. It should be one of the easier things to implement in this update, and yet it was all bullshit, apparently, which is just simply not cool. Because uh, the refresh lobby feature doesn't even work anymore, so it's all just a really frustrating experience if you just want to, you know, get some free runs to see how the scar. Uh, Uran performs. I'm not sure if I'll be able to repeat that first run. I honestly doubt it, but uh, whatever. Let's see. Okay, fair enough. With uh, the way that this phone is, uh, you know, running right now, I am perfectly fine with that. But uh, honestly, so. As you guys can see, it is not impossible to be good with this car, and it is possible to get 6.8s. I believe that the world record is a, uh, or the last time I checked, it was a 6.85. So it can definitely go faster than what I just ran. There you go. It's not, uh, it's not a bad car. Let's go to the race tour now. I've said that uh, the race tour is my favorite of the two races, and let's see why. There you go. Now, uh, this game is uh, lagging like shit right now. I mean, objectively, this is at the moment a bad game. And it runs like shit on the phone, which it shouldn't. So, I am still very frustrated about this, but it is capable of uh, hitting uh, 6.95s. So, it is slower of the two, obviously. But it is way cheaper as well. And uh, this car actually launches uh, like the Z28, but it shifts like the. 2017 for the GT, which is a really nice combo. So pretty much the release is as soon as the first light comes on, and you can get very, very consistent with this car, which is amazing. And also, um, you know, sh the shifting is all at 7900, you know, just without the, uh, the rev limiter. And it's, you know, if I can do it on a fucking laggy ass game, which should be fixed in a few days, then you guys can as well. And there you go, that's a bot, hell yeah. I will definitely take that now. Airshaw is still not working for some reason, I don't know why, well, just because, you know, the fucking iOS is a bullshit platform to try and record on if you're not jailbroken, I have no intention of jailbreaking my device, even though I will probably break it if it continues to do bullshit like that, not really, just, you know, a shitty joke, anyways, let's see if we can get another good rank here. 
no that was shit and as you guys can see no actually it tends to be better on um the actual recording but that was still fucking terrible just because i cannot get you know with the shifting down when um oh, i see five frames per second per each gear so yeah you guys are not getting around better than that but on the uh, on the ipad i did reach uh 6.98 i believe so this car is not bad either and uh, i guess we are back to uh, me giving ratings from 1 to 10 on both cards just because i tend to sometimes do that in my reviews so um for the civic si re i would give it a 7.5 it is a nice car to race it is a nice car to have but unfortunately it's a very expensive car to have and uh, i'm sorry but uh, you know spending 30 plus bucks on uh, a fucking civic re is uh just a very very bad move if you don't have a lot of money or a youtube channel you know you know which kind of uh, gives you money back but as far as the race tour goes i think it's a it's a really nice card and i'll likely pink slip some in the future so i would actually give this one just a a bit higher of a rating at 8 out of 10 so there you go here's my opinion on the card if you guys you know um have opinions please uh, share them in the comment section as well and uh, yeah, the game uh, will be fixed in a few days. I hope, if not, I have no idea what the fuck I'll continue to do on this channel because as of right now, this game is not fun whatsoever. But uh, you know, you guys already know that, so it's like whatever. Anyways, my name is Jerry. Thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you in uh, hopefully a better racing hours. But uh, it's apparently gonna take a few days, so. Uh, Oh, what the fuck? Okay, anyways, bye.